Yo, what's going on guys, Ethan AFC here, back again with another video, welcome back to the channel. And with Arsenal um, out here trying to fix our team strength on our squad, that's going to involve the potential additions of two of the best midfielders out there in my opinion. And that's Thomas Party and Hussam Al... Hus I don't even know how to say his name. Hussam Aura, Aura, however, however you say his name. The midfielder from Lyon, he's about 22 years old. And Thomas Pai, who is from Atletico Madrid, and he's about 27. However, there's a chance we could see these two midfielders in our squad for the next season. We confirmed the sign of Gabriel Magalhães. We confirmed the sign of Willian. We have also confirmed the loan extension of Danny Ceballos, which means in two areas of the pitch, we're pretty much set with our defence, with our whole new back four, and our, and our attack with all Aubameyang, Saka, and all of those players there. And it's just the midfield now we need to focus on. And the signings of Thomas Party and Aurora would be perfect for our midfield because for the past couple of years, our, our midfield has been, I wouldn't say average, but it's not helped in terms of how Arteta wants to play his football, how he wants to play his style, do you know what I mean? And with Thomas Party comes a player who's going to pretty much become the engine of our midfield. He's very very good for his just explosive dribbling he's strong he can hold the ball um even when coming down to do his defensive duties he can cut out any tackle any pass he can pretty much do it all he's very complete and then you have Hussam Arwa who's going to be more of a you know like more of a creative player he's going to add a bit of flair he can move he will move the ball up he will help getting passes into the final third Getting those passes into Aubameyang, into Pepe, into whoever is in front of him, really. These are two forward-thinking players. And then obviously behind them, you have Granite Xhaka. He'll be more sitting deep. He'll be more spraying the ball from, like, more behind the halfway line where the defence is. He'll be shielding that defence. And behind Xhaka, there'll just be a sick defence. And behind the defence, we'll have a sick keeper in Leno. We're going to have a good squad. I'm very confident that with the signing of these two players... We will be going places. Now, of course, signing these individual players is going to be challenging because of the price tag like, they come with. Um, Thomas Party, Thomas Party, he comes with a 50 mil release clause, and Atletico Madrid seem that they are not budging on that at all. Same with um, Arwa. I'm pretty sure I don't exactly know what his price tag like is, but for a player like him, where he's young, he's He's young in it, like, do you know what I mean? He's young and talented, I guess about 50 mil as well. Which makes sense that we are trying to let go of quite a lot of players. And in terms of the players that are going and how we make our money, here's how I think we should do it. I got the Arsenal squad right here uh, for everyone to see. And Bellerin, he could be leaving, which means Ainsley maitland Niles could be starting right back with Soc no, Socrates, with um, Cedric Suarez as a backup. Socrates is on his way out to um, Napoli. There's talks of him going there for I think about four million pounds. Uh, Mustafi, we should get rid of him. I don't, I'm not sure if there's any exact talks of him going to any specific club, but in my opinion, I just to raise funds, I think he should go. Holding, there's talks of him going on a loan deal to Newcastle. Chambers, he might be going out on loan. Kalashnik could be going back to Schalke. And our midfield here. Going doozy on his way out. So um, Socrates. I keep on saying Socrates. Lucas Torreira. He seems to be on his way out. Mesut Ozil. I mean, ah, there's no way he's leaving because nobody wants him. But ideally, he's going to be. We want him to be on his way out because that will free a lot of wages. And Lacazette is in talks of maybe a move out. That will be good to raise money. We would get at least, like, what, 30 something million off him. And that's about it. So if we were to do that now and raise enough money to get these two players, oh, it, oh my gosh, it'll be lovely. I'll be going into this season, I'll be going into next week, should I say, because the season starts next week. I'll be going into next week thinking, well actually no, not next week, the signings won't be done that quick, but you know what I mean? If these signings are done, I'll be very, very, very confident for how Arsenal will do in the upcoming season, of course. We need to get top four. We need to win the Europa League. We, maybe it will be nice winning another FA Cup. We want to be seeing silverware now. And make sure that Arsenal are back in that conversation as being a top club in England. And who knows, maybe we could even compete for the title. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Damn, it actually felt good making a video like that. It's been a while, but oh, I'll be honest, it's like... 
With me, yeah, I'm waffling now, innit? But with me, yeah, it's like, it's just a thing where I just need to just find my pattern, find my, you know, my confidence to be in front of a camera talking about the best team in England, and that's Arsenal Football Club. So, yeah, just stay supporting the thing when I end the video here. Like and subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll see you lots in a bit.